Floating diving hard-bodied lures like this well-chewed old Rapala can easily go out of tune and not swim straight over time. So it's really important to just give them a test swim and if they need it, retune them. To do that, just cast the lure out into fairly clear water. A swimming pool's great, but I've got some nice clear water here on the flats today. And I'm going to slip my polarised sunglasses on so I can see the lure as I retrieve it and just observe its action. Sure enough, it's, it's swimming off to the left, out to my left as I'm looking at it. And in fact, if I speed up, it actually hits the surface and blows out of the water. And that's not good. So what I'm going to need to do is tweak this lure a little bit. I'm going to use a pair of long nose pliers to just bend the eyelet a little bit in the opposite direction to the way that it's swimming. So it's going off to my left. I'm going to get my long nose pliers and bend the eyelet just a tiny bit to the right. Seriously, you only need to make the smallest of adjustments. All right, let's give that a try. So I'm just going to cast it out again and retrieve it. <laughs> yeah, and straight away I can see that I've bent it too far. It's actually tracking well out to the right now and laying over on its side. So. I definitely bent that eyelet too far. All right, I'm gonna grab my long nose pliers again and tweak it back to the left now. Again, only the tiniest of movements. You can't even see the difference with your eye, but it makes a big difference to the action of this lure. Okay, that's looking a lot better now, but I still reckon if I can get it just that little bit better. It's still the tiniest bit out to the right. It's critical that you get it right. Your lure will fish so much more efficiently and catch more fish as a result. Okay, that's spot on now. This lure is tracking dead straight exactly how I want it. The other thing you'll notice is that it's also diving a little bit deeper because it's tracking straight it's actually going deep enough now to just brush the bottom every now and again which is what I wanted to try and catch some flathead here on these flats okay I'm happy with that lure now always take the time to swim your lures before you start fishing and if they need some adjustment do it you'll catch a lot more fish as a result